Whether or not 2017 was a good year for you is up to you, but the scientific community sure did have a good one. Join us as we look at some of the biggest scientific breakthroughs of 2017. Super Old Teeth A discovery in Germany last year would cause scientists to question the historical record, which were made up regarding the evolution of man. Now, this is a pretty big deal, because for a portion of the population, the scientific community has been a go-to for quite some time over the history of man. Researchers in Mainz would announce the excavation of a pair of 9.7 million year old teeth fossils from the Rhine River, and it was a remarkable find. It was so remarkable because it appeared to be older than similar specimens found in Africa. This possibility meant a rewrite would need to be completed about where exactly early human life had emerged. Now, these teeth most likely belong to a great ape of the early hominin species, which may have been related to members of the African hominin tribe. It was the canine tooth which would prove this ancient being was unlike any other specimen that had ever been found in Northern Europe. The research team are still wary of speculating anything for certain. However, they do believe that this new finding might mean that they can fill in the holes missing from the fossil record, as well as adding any new species to the family tree, since these teeth so closely resemble the famous early human Lucy. According to scientists, Lucy would have existed somewhere between 3.2 million years ago, and this would make the newfound specimen much, much older. Spicy food and cannabis are good for your gut. Many Americans have trouble with our digestive system for a number of reasons, but who would have guessed that the answer to our troubles may have been staring at us the whole time? That's because it comes in the form of THC or cannabis. Now, if you've been having a difficult time with digestion, new research would suggest that your body might find spicy food and or cannabis to be the perfect remedy for an irritated digestive tract. It was discovered by a group of researchers with the University of Connecticut School of Medicine. As it turns out, a surprising new function for chemicals was found in hot peppers and combined with marijuana, which would help calm inflammation. This could end up helping to lead to new treatments for things like type 1 diabetes, colitis, and other digestive disorders. The scientific study would also find a chemical called capsaicin. This gives hot peppers their heat and then binds special receptors to your digestive tract, which in turn causes a chemical reaction. This is similar to the stuff that's in weed which gets you high, but it's produced from within your own body, so it's found by eating marijuana products in the study that they could deliver the same result faster. Of course, the investigation will continue further, but for now, it looks like scientists are giving the green light to eat spicy food that's paired with your favorite adult edible. The first successful human embryo edit. CRISPR has been a pretty controversial thing when it comes to the scientific community, but it's gene editing at its finest. This revolutionary technology allows people to alter their DNA, which sounds both magnificent and terrifying. Because as we all know, DNA is the source code for life itself, and if this kind of thing would ever fall into the wrong hands, who knows what they could create. However, if we're looking at the benefits of CRISPR, we would see things like the ability to delete genes, or eradicate a body of genetic disease or perhaps even add new genes to vastly improve biological function. But here's where things get really scary. Humans could also basically be genetically modified to become, dare I say it, superhumans with amazing strength and superior intelligence. Metallic hydrogen was created. 80 years ago, it was predicted that creating metallic hydrogen was possible, but it took a very long time for scientists to discover exactly how to do it. Back in September of 2017, two studies were underway using different approaches to create it, but it was the Harvard University team who would manage to actually produce it. The problem had been worked on by a physicist named Isaac Silvera for 45 years, and it was Ranga Diaz who would publish the results of the study. These two spent most of their career working on this project, and it's no small feat to transform hydrogen gas into a metallic state. The prediction initially happened 
happened in 1935, but it would be years before anyone solved just how to successfully do it. A newly discovered alien planet may answer questions about life on other planets. The locating of this exoplanet, named Super Earth LHS 1140b, is actually the closest thing that scientists have come to in finding one of the best possible candidates for life as we know it. Now if we're really considering things, we've come quite a long way in space discovery and exploration. Especially since it was just a few decades ago that people were hypothesizing about the idea of other planets even existing. Today, scientists have discovered thousands of alien planets, but it was this discovery that would rock the community. As it turns out, the planet is orbiting a red dwarf star, which lies about 40 light years away from Earth. Astronomers also discovered the exoplanet is orbiting a dim star within its habitable zone. In addition, it also seems to be much more massive than planet Earth, and is probably one of the most exciting discoveries yet when it comes to atmospheric studies about alien planets. And yeah, don't mind us, we're just going to go ahead and nerd out a little bit about the idea of life out there in deep space. Because I want to believe. A new continent in the South Pacific. Now if you attended any school in the world, you were probably taught at one time the same thing about seven continents. Those being Africa, Asia, Antarctica, Australia, Europe, and North and South America. Oh, and then there's geologists who like to do their own thing and also look at rocks, so they can group Europe and Asia into a supercontinent called Eurasia, which makes for six geologic continents. But now, we guess that geologists have caught up to the rest of the human race and have discovered a seventh geologic continent, one that they call Zealandia. This other continent has been hiding under our noses, but 11 researchers say that New Zealand and New Caledonia aren't just island chains, but they were part of a single 4.9 million square kilometer slab of continental crust that was distinct from Australia. And if you thought Zealandia was new, well, we're sorry to burst your bubble, but the term was actually coined in 1995 by a geophysicist at the University of California at Santa Barbara. However, it was never intended intended to be a new continent. Of course, it did turn out after decades worth of new evidence and examination that this slab of rock really was a continent worth naming, even if it is just out of convenience. A secret chamber in the Great Pyramid of Giza. More than three dozen researchers would announce the discovery of a huge unexplored void in the Pharaoh Khufu's pyramid which is the largest of the three main structures in Giza, Egypt. The team would implement an amazing technology that uses cosmic rays from deep space in order to see through millions of tons of rock and locate the void, and even estimate the entire size of it. From this discovery, they would determine the space was around 100 feet long and equal to two semi-trailers, and it sits almost directly about the Grand Gallery, a towering passage that leads straight to the tomb. Pyramids have always been quite the mystery to scientists because they're just so large and revered, and to really see how they're constructed or what's hidden inside, there would have to be a lot of digging or blasting away at the ancient, stony features, which kind of defeats the purpose when you're just going to destroy it anyways. So thankfully, the new method allows scientists to peer inside without causing any kind of damage to the ancient structures. A newly discovered cancer treatment. Cancer is a devastating disease. It tears apart people's lives, and the US FDA approved a cutting-edge cancer therapy in 2017 that may just help with pediatric acute lymphoblastic leukemia. This type of cancer is the most common one that's diagnosed in children and represents more than a quarter of all pediatric cancers. Now though, there's a new therapy that's called CAR T-cell therapy. The CAR is short for chimeric antigen receptor. It uses the body's immune system as a way to take on cancer cells by removing a person's cells, re-engineering them, and then replacing the cells back into the body so that they can then attack the cancer cells. 
These one-time treatments come at an astronomical price tag of $475,000. The company who can make this treatment both quickly and safely is going to have the advantage of the competitive space, but let's hope that new discoveries like this will continue well into the future and end up being reasonably priced. SpaceX launched a recycled rocket. SpaceX is literally one of the coolest companies today. Don't believe me? Well, read up on some of their big projects and you might be changing your mind. A major milestone for SpaceX last year was the launching of a partly used rocket into orbit, and it was for a much lower cost than building a brand new one. The last major attempt at using reusable spacecraft would be NASA's Space Shuttle. The Space Shuttle never materialized because of the cost of refurbishing the craft between each launch ended up eating away at any potential savings that were promoted. It's also easy to see that the new space race is headed in a much different direction, with the average human wanting to have the ability for space exploration, and something as simple as reusing a portion of spacecraft to lower the cost could end up being a major step for those dreamers to literally reach the stars. Of course, it also serves as a reminder that the rocket is designed only for orbital flights, so if you had any kind of big ambition to go to Mars, it's probably not going to happen anytime soon. It was January 1st in Malibu, California when researchers from HRL Laboratories achieved a breakthrough in ceramic 3D printing technology, where they took 3D printing to a whole new level. And if you don't think that it's impressive, let me just tell you that ceramics are one of the hardest materials in the world. The 3D printers, which can carry the molecular structure silicon, made them close to perfect. 